Hi there, welcome back to the first official unboxing on Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne, and today I will be going over the ASUS MX279H LED Backlit LCD Monitor. And uh, this is an IPS display. This specific model is AH-IPS, which stands for Advanced High Performance In-Plane Switching. And basically there are uh, several, actually a lot of different types of IPS displays out there, such as TFT, SIPS, HIPS, just Google that for the one that best suits your needs. So a few things about why I'm getting this particular monitor. Well, I look for, let's see, aesthetics first. I like that it's pleasing to the eye, clean, chic looking, something ASUS is, is dynamo at. And uh, number two, price point. I didn't want to pay $500 because I'm still a little bit poor. So I opted for uh, 300 something, 280 to $300 range, okay? Uh, also size of the monitor, 27 inches, perfect for me. Two feet away from uh, where I sit in front of my screen when I'm gaming or watching movies. Um, and one last thing is, of course, performance. So for the price point and all that good stuff at 60 hertz refresh rate, five millisecond uh, response time, I'd say it's, it's, it'll do, it'll do. So let me go over a little bit about the three types of monitors. So a little bit about IPS displays is that it was developed by Hitachi in 1996 and later on LG joined in the game of creating IPS monitors. And basically they create have created several different types of IPS and like I said, please Google it so you can see what suits your needs best. And also IPS was meant to improve on the poor color production as well as the viewing angles of the TN series which stands for Twisted Pneumatic. And basically if you are a hardcore serious gamer TN would probably be really good for you because of how fast the response rate is, uh, which is uh, 1 to 2 milliseconds, as well as the refresh rate, 120 hertz, and I think it goes up to like 144 hertz. That's mind-blowing. Basically, you're going to be able to avoid probably most of the, the tearing and the stutters. So that's good news for those of you who have a lot of complex motions going on on your screen. Um, and the last one is VA, which is vertical alignment. And basically that's trying to combine the best of IPS and TN monitors. Although um, I have heard that uh, you do get some ghosting, which means you get your image and then the image, a ghost image of like the image previous to that. So that's a kind of a big no-no, right? But I'm sure some of them are just fine. Like I said, I'd have to test it out myself. And in the future, I may do a comparison video as I will probably be doing an unboxing on a TN series for sure when I build my new computer, mod, uh, computer um, just PC. So that's exciting. And I will leave you at that and go forward to the unboxing. There are a few things on the box I'd like to go over before opening it up because simply it's there and it's something to look at so you're not just staring at my hands moving in the other shots later. <laughs> so this features Sonic Master Sound technology in addition with Bang and all of some ICE power and you get two 3 watt stereo speakers, dual HDMI um, and amazing wide viewing angles of 178 degrees both horizontally and vertically. It's also um, energy efficient and you get a three year warranty. But back to the low power consumption. So when it's fully operational, it consumes 37 watts and on standby and sleep mode, 0.5 watts. Alrighty, so this is everything that comes in the box, the monitor itself, I'll go over that in just a bit. But first, I'm sure you're curious about all the accessories that it comes with, right? Am I right? Alrighty, so here is the stand which I will put together for you in just a bit. It's just two simple steps. And I really like how it resembles a sundial. Sleek and sexy. Alrighty, moving right along. Of course, you get a warranty guide, three-year warranty once again, and a quick start guide. I found it kind of handy. It's just some quick instructions on where the buttons are, what they're called, and how to plug everything in. And now let's go on to the actual cables. So you get an audio cable if you want to plug in your monitor directly into your PC audio. And what else is here? Here's an HDMI to DVI-D cable. You also get a uh, D-sub, oh, let me just remove these covers, D-sub cable. And here is your power cord, of course you're gonna need power. And finally, power adapter. Alrighty, so here's the beauty of a clean install which I love. Alrighty, let's take the sundial right here and just line it up with this piece here. Simple, easy, just a matter of dropping it in. There is a screw here. All you got to do is tighten it up. And voila, it is done. 
before I turn this unit on, I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about the back. So as you can see, pretty much the entire back of the monitor is gloss and I actually personally do not like it. I mean, once it's clean and everything, it's really shiny and pretty, but that's the thing, you have to keep it clean and most likely you're gonna be touching that gloss. But luckily it's on the reverse side, so most likely people won't see the back of your monitor, so you're covered there. Here's a closer look at the ports. You get dual HDMI input ports and one DSUP input port. And basically what this allows you to do is connect to various devices, such as Blu-ray players, digital cameras, game consoles, and the like. And next to that, you get a PC audio in, headphone jack, power port, and even a Kensington lock slot at the bottom. Here's a little bit about how this monitor looks before I turn it on and what these touch sensitive controls on the bottom do. So the first thing you'll notice is that it's frameless. At least that's the first thing I notice and I don't see that very often and I love that feature. It reminds me of infinity pools where it looks like it just drops off. Awesome, but they are very sneaky. They have included a 0.8 millimeter thin bezel across the uh, edge of the screen. You might notice it when I turn it on, but moving right along, it comes in a very slim profile, measuring just 17.5 millimeters at its thinnest point. And this unit measures, well, let me just turn it just a little bit more so you get a better idea. And one last thing, this unit measures in at 11.5 pounds. It's time to turn this baby on. So go ahead and touch this. There you could actually feel this uh, physical button, but you just touch it lightly underneath the power and boom, it is on. What's gonna pop up is a wizard photo. It's actually me, yes. <laughs> I was uh, the wizard, I dressed up as one for BlizzCon 2013, and Joe, very talented, he's the one who photographed it and edited it. And I wanted to show this photo because of the rich blacks, and you also get some whites, some blues, and it's just a really good picture to show you so we can toggle through the different modes. Now let's go ahead and talk about the buttons on the bottom. So this one is the quick fit key. Well, it's the hot key for it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and touch that. So what this allows you to do, you can probably guess already, is that it allows you to preview photos and docs on screen in their um, actual size prior to printing. So you can view and edit photos in their native size, which is a really nice feature, but you're gonna have to actually toggle through all the options. We tried to find a back button for this, but I think the best you can do is just toggle through it. So one moment while we, there we go. And next to that is the video preset mode button. Uh, this is, Asus calls it Splendid. There are six of them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what they are. So we are in standard mode, theater mode, game mode, night view mode, sRGB, and scenery mode. We're gonna go ahead and stay on standard mode. Now, if you saw that the S sRGB mode was flickering, it's actually not in real life, it's just because of how the video camera um, has captured it. So moving right along, here's the volume button. So volume up, down, volume up, and then just click menu to get out of it. But when you are in menu, you're gonna wanna press the uh, preset button to get out of that. And here is the brightness adjust, so brightness up, brightness down, and next to that, let's uh, press menu to go back from that, is the uh, input select button. Right now we are using VGA because uh, I do not have a cable, HDMI cable on me at the moment, so we decided to use the VGA cable that was included with this monitor. And of course, this is the power button. And oh, one last thing, contrast ratio. If I didn't mention it, that is also one, another important feature you should look for when you are buying a monitor. So this one is 1000 to one. Contrast ratio, it's basically just the ratio between the blackest black and the whitest white, in case you didn't know what it is. And 1000 to 1 is actually quite respectable. 2000 to 1 is pretty spectacular. <laughs> and so if you see inflated numbers like 80 million to 1 or 30 million to 1, just, so just ignore that and ask for what is the uh, native contrast ratio. Alrighty, so before I wrap up this video, there are some loose ends I'd like to tie up. First thing you'll notice is that this monitor comes with a very matte display versus glossy. So when we have hot studio lights pointing at the display, it doesn't have all that much glare, which is 
great news. Also, this particular model does not come with height adjust or swivel, but it does have tilt. So you get positive 20 all the way down to negative 5 degrees, which is awesome. But let's get it back to normal, shall we? And if, once again, if I haven't mentioned this before, this is a 27-inch monitor with full HD display at 1920 by 1080 res. And one last thing is that uh, if you want to purchase this product, you can go ahead and click on the link below. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I love you. Uh, oh, anyway, I uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. You found it informative, entertaining, funny, right? And also just you thought the flow of it was good. Um, I tried my best to bring you a very, very awesome first unboxing. Anyway, if you like what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment too if you want. And, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter at Joanne Food Lover, as well as, um, what else is there? Facebook, there you go, uh, Joanne Tech Lover. So that's my fan page, go ahead and like that. I will update photos of new tech that I'll be bringing in before I even go ahead and review them or unbox them. So go ahead and check that out. Anyway, um, once again, hope you really, really like this uh, because I love bringing it to you and love you much.